In this video, we are going to cover what factors are and also how to find the greatest common factor of two pairs of numbers. So to begin with, we're going to start with what is a factor. Now keep in mind you should be taking notes in your notebooks and definitions that we give you are definitely something you need to be writing down. So the title of your notebook right now should be factors and then copy this definition down. A factor is one of two or more numbers that when multiplied together produce a product. And if you remember, a product is the same thing as an answer. So in this problem, 7 times 4 equals 28. 7 and 4 are factors because when multiplied together, they produce a product, which is 28. Homework question number one. Identify the factor or factors in the problem above. You will often be asked to find all the factors of a number. So in this first strategy, we are going to write out factor pairs using your divisibility rules. So we're going to look at the number 30, and we're going to go through the divisibility rules that you learned yesterday. Now, we know that all numbers are divisible by 1. So we're going to start with that. 30 divided by 1 is 30, so 1 times 30 is also 30. Now we'll go up from there. We know that 30 is divisible by 2 because it ends in a 0. And remember, numbers divisible by 2 end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So 2 times 15 equals 30. Now, we also know that 30 is divisible by 3 because if you recall, if we add the digits together, so 3 plus 0 equals 3, and 3 divided by 3 is 1, so 30 is also divisible by 3, so 3 times 10 equals 30. Now we can test for divisibility by 4, 3 is not, or 30 is not divisible by 4, so we'll move on to 5. 30 is divisible by 5 because it ends in a 0 or a 5, so 5 times 6 is 30. Now, the divisibility rule for 6 is if it's divisible by 2 and 3, it's also divisible by 6. So you can see that it is divisible by, by 2, it is divisible by 3, so it's also divisible by 6. And we already have that covered. 5 times 6 is 30. You can also write it as 6 times 5 is 30. Same thing. 30 is not divisible by 7 because we can't divide 30 by 7 without getting a remainder, or 8, or 9. And 30 is divisible by 10 because it ends in a 0, and we've already covered 10 with the 3 times 10. So these are our factor pairs using the divisibility rules. So you can see we've got 4 pairs of factor pairs, 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6. So if you count these, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 total factors eight total factors of the number 30. Another strategy you can do to find all the factors of a number is to make a factor rainbow. In a factor rainbow, you're going to use a little bit um, more of your multiplication facts or multiplication tables to list all the factors. So to start with, first and foremost, we know that 1 times 30 equals 30. So that's going to be the top part of our rainbow. We also know that um, 2 times 15 equals 30. And you can see I'm just I'm basically just listing the numbers that are multiplied together to equal 30. Then I've got 3 times 10 equals 30 and 5 times 6 equals 30. Now when you get to, when you start running out of ideas, you really have to think about it and think okay, are there any other numbers that multiply together to equal 30? and there are not, so now you should make a rainbow and you'll know um, that you're finished because this should look just like a rainbow. Now keep in mind that when you find factors of different numbers, maybe th the number 36 or the number 50 or 110, whatever it may be, there could be more or less stripes on your rainbow depending on the number of factor pairs. So you can see here we've got four factor pairs or eight total factors for the number 30. We're going to do a couple more examples here. So for this one, we're going to find all the factors of the 
um, number 14. And for this one, I'm just going to start thinking of what times what equals 14. So first I know, well, 1 times 14 equals 14. And because 14 is an even number, I know that it's divisible by 2. So 2, I know 2 times 7 is 14. And I have to think, okay, is there anything else that goes into 14 evenly? Not 3, not 4, not 5. 6 doesn't, um, and I've already got 7. 8 doesn't, 9 doesn't. 10 doesn't, 11, nope, 12, no, 13, no, and then just 14 itself. So 14 has four total factors, 1, 2, 7, and 14. And you'll often be asked to write these in order from smallest to greatest, so you'd want to list these out, 1, 2, 7, 14. Okay, here's another one to list all the factors of 12. Try this along with me. What times what equals 12? Okay, well, first and foremost, the easiest one is 1 times 12. And then I know that, okay, well, it ends in a 2, so it's divisible by 2. So 2 times 6 also equals 12. And, oh yeah, I know 3 times 4 equals 12. Because 1 plus 2 equals 3, which means it's divisible by 3. And so I know 3 times 4 equals 12. And it's not divisible by 5. I mean, it is by 6. I've got that. Not by 7. Not by 8 or 9, or 10, or 11. So the number 12 has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 total factors. The nice thing about factor rainbows is that the numbers are already in numerical order from smallest to greatest for you. Homework question number 2. List all the factors of 15 in order from least to greatest. You will sometimes be asked to, to find the factors of what's called prime numbers. And prime numbers only have two factors, the number 1 in themselves. So if I try to list all the factors of 7, all I'm going to get is 1 and 7, because 7 is only divisible by 1 in itself. So the only factors 7 has are the number 1 and itself 7. So 7 has two total factors. Now 16, well, once again, let's try and list all the factors of 16. I know 1 times 16 is 16, but we can see very quickly that 16 is not a prime number. There's more than just two factors. 16 ends in a 6, so it's divisible by 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Is 16 divisible by 3? Well, 6 plus 1 is 7, and 7 is not divisible by 3, so that won't work. 16 divisible by 4. Well, I know that 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 is a factor of 16. Now, because it's just 4 times 4, I do not have to list 4 twice. I can just list it once. So this factor rainbow is going to look a little different. 16 is not divisible by 5, um, not divisible by 6 or 7. It is by 8. We covered 8. It's not divisible by 9 or 10 or 11 or 12. And 13 and 14, nope, 15, nope, and 16 we've already got. So you can see this factor rainbow, 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and then 4 times 4 just kind of gets its own little arc there. So there are five total factors of the number 16, and if you were to list them in order, it would be just like the bottom of the rainbow, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Homework question number 3. List all of the factors of 32 from least to greatest. Now, you guys, make sure that you think this through because there's a lot of kids that will just list a couple factors and think that they're done. Make sure you're making a factor rainbow, using your multiplication facts, using your divisibility rules to get all of the factors of 32. You will sometimes be asked to find the greatest common factor, or the GCF. Now, this is another thing that you should be writing down in your notebook on your notes. When you find all the factors of two or more numbers, you find some factors are the same or common. The largest of those common factors is the greatest common factor. So let's find some greatest common factors or GCFs. So for this problem, we're going to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 20. So let's think, okay, what are the factors of 12? And we would list those out. So 1 times 
12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. I'd list all the factors of 12 out. Then I have to think, okay, what are the factors of 20? Well, again, 1 times 20, obviously, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. And I'm thinking, okay, are there any other factors of 12 or 20? Can't think of any. So now I need to find the common factors, the, the numbers that are on both lists. So I've got a 1 on both lists, I've got a 2 on both lists, I've got a 4 on both lists, and that's it. The other numbers are not common between 12 and 20. So the common factors are 1, 2, and 4. Now, greatest just means what's the biggest number. So the biggest number, or the biggest no common factor, is the number 4. So the GCF, or greatest common factor, of 12 and 20 is 4. So let's practice another one of these. Let's find the GCF, or greatest common factor, of 15 and 30. So we need to list the factors of 15. Well, I know 1 times 15 equals 15. Uh, nothing times 2, but I know that 3 times 5 equals 15. And then I've got to think, okay, is there anything else that equals 15? Nope, no other factors that equal 15. So the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Now we'll list the factors of 30. Well, I obviously I know 1 times 30. And then I do recall that um, 2 times 15, because 30 ends in a 0, so that means it's divisible by 2. So 2 times 15 is 30. And then I know, well, because it ends in a 0, it's also it's divisible by 10. So 3 times 10 is 30. We've got to think, are there any other factors of 30? We've got 4, or excuse me, no, 4 is not divisible by 30. 30 is not divisible by 4. We've got 5 and 6, because 30 ends in a 0, it's divisible by 5. So 5 times 6 is 30. So 30's got quite a few factors, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Woof. So now let's find the common factors. What numbers are on both lists? So we've got a 1 on both. There's a 3 on both, a 5 on both, and a 15 on both. So what is the largest of the numbers that was on both lists? Well, the GCF of 15 and 30 is 15. Homework question number four. Find the greatest common factor of 18 and 24. Make sure that you list all of the factors of 18 and 24 you need to find the greatest common factor between those two numbers. Homework question number five. On the Google, Google form, you are going to select the correct answer. On what is the product? What does that mean? What is the product? And finally, homework question number six. Find the greatest common factor, or GCF, of 21 and 11. Thank you. Have a nice night. We'll see you tomorrow.